Hi everybody, my name is Abdul and I am delighted to present this tutorial on behalf of Pilates for Wellbeing. In today's tutorial, I am going to take you through the neck pull exercise. So let's get started by lying supine, that is you are lying on your back, feet is hip width apart, your spine is in neutral, shoulder blades are towards each other to activate the upper back, hands are pressing by, into the mat by the side of the body. Lift both the hands up, you have two options, either you can place the palms on top of each other or you can interlace the fingers uh, to each other. I will use the interlaced fingers, now place the hands behind the head at the point where the head meets the neck and then pull that head away from the neck to create some length, open the elbows wide so the elbows are still in your peripheral vision. Now take an inhale, exhale out fully without changing anything, Ch take the chin to the chest and then imagine you are going under a lower bridge, start curling up to roll up, take the knee, take the forehead towards the knee, exhale out fully, now sequentially stack your spine up uh, against an imaginary wall to sit as tall as you can, now exhale out fully, on the next inhale, hinge from your hips, so you are moving the pelvis over the femur and the spine does not move over the pelvis, so hinge back to the point where you do not lose the control and once you start losing the control, Curl the pelvis and then roll down fully to rest your head on the mat. Couple of times more, inhale, flex the feet, press the feet out, engage the outer hip, chin to the chest, S uh, keep rolling up to go under that low searing tunnel, take the forehead towards the knee, exhale, inhale, stack the spine, sit as tall as you can and then start hinging from your hips to roll back and then rest your body into the mat, once more, inhale, roll up, reach, stack the spine, hinge, hinge, hinge to the point where you do not lose the control and then curl the tail and then lie down fully. Now the things that could go wrong, first thing is like when we are trying to roll up, we may get stuck here. The reason is there are some group of muscles which connect to the hip and the ribs, uh, they are weak in your body so you are not able to lift off to roll up. Uh, to help in such scenarios, in case you have a strap, a uh, mat with a strap, you can use them and uh, that will give you that strength to lift yourself up. In case you do not have the strap, the other option that we can take is just lie down, place the hands behind your head. Now take the pull that head away from the neck and then roll up to the point where you can do comfortably. Now release your hand and then place the hands by the side of your hips or legs and now use your hands as lever to roll up and now once you have rolled up place the hands behind your head, take the forehead towards the knee and then sequentially stack your spine up to sit as tall as you can. Now you can release the hand, now hinge back to the point where you are in control and then curl and then lie down fully. Once more, place the hands behind your head, curl forward and now once you are not able to do anything, release the hand, hold the sides of the hip or the leg and then roll the rest of the way up. Now place the hands behind your head, take the forehead towards the knee, stack up and now release the hand, hold the back, hinge to the point of control and then curl and then lie down fully to place the head and the rest of the body into the mat. Now you also have an option to bend the knee in case straight leg is uh, not happening and uh, you can do the same movements with the bent knee too. Now the other thing is uh, if you are finding it challenging to do this exercise lying down, you can start this exercise sitting up. So we start from here. So the um, feet is flexed and you have an option to bend the knee too, place the hands behind your head and now hinge back to the point where you are in control, now curl your tail and then roll back maybe couple of inches, now curl forward, take your forehead towards the knee, sequentially stack your spine up, now hinge back maybe a little more than what you did previous time, curl the tail, roll back a little more than the previous time 
and then curl forward forehead towards the knee sequentially start your spine up so in this way uh, every bit you every rep you try to go a little more down than the previous rep and eventually you'll be able to go fully down and come back up fully so these are the various ways in which you can build up to the neck pull exercise if you are not able to do the exercise right from the word go thank you